All right, good morning, guys. I'm in Austin, Texas. I came here a few weeks ago uh, to be with my sister before she has her baby, and I got the wild hair idea to decorate her entire nursery myself. I here will show you the first pictures uh, of the room, which was just wood floors, cream walls, um, nothing in it. And by tonight, I'll show you the reveal. I thought I would lightly help with the nursery to get things together, but in true Brandon fashion, I had to do things times 100. So on our very first trip to Joanne Fabric, just to get a few fabrics to see what could happen in the nursery, you know, the rolls of fabric were on sale, majorly discounted. And so I ended up buying all of them and decided that I was gonna fabric the entire nursery, buy things online, redo them, DIY, Ikea cabinets, install lighting fixtures. I've never done this before. So I wanted to take you on my very first time to redoing an entire room. Luckily for me, I have two great friends here and a load of people who have chipped in to help. My friend Aaron, my friend Brittany, who you may know from Project Runway, who helped me sew the curtains, the pillows, the bed skirt, the whole thing. So I wanted to take you through the entire process and to surprise my sister, she's due in a little over four weeks. So we wanted to get everything perfect for her. And this is, again, like I said, my very first time doing this. Follow along. Hey, this is Erin. I'm Erin Thornton, and I am a creative and a designer. Uh, Brandon and I met through a dear friend who I've known a long time because he and Jesse were coming to Austin for the birth of his sister's baby, amongst other things. And we had an extra house and she wanted them to stay with us. And so they did. Um, well, today I am installing a baby nursery. <laughs> <laughs> and you're cutting the fabric for the walls. I am cutting the fabric for the walls in this particular piece. I'm not gonna lie, is a total bear. You saw us working with it last night, that angled piece uh, that goes between the ceiling and the flat wall. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to not make the same mistakes in cutting that I made yesterday. Okay, great. <laughs> so we ended up in this space because I bought a tons of rolls of fabric, as you can see here, because they were on sale and I thought this will be a good idea. But then I had to call Aaron like about an hour later and say, I think I'm about to fabric an entire room and I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Thankfully, Erin is one of the best interior decorators in the world oh. and she has kindly <laughs> jumped on this project to help us. Right, Erin? Yes! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take you through, here we are, day one. So you can see the entire, well, this was day one. You can see the entire room. It's 11 feet by 12 feet. And it was all these cream walls, as you can see here, wood floors. So we have come in, not me, but a great group of people have come in. And first, as you can see here, they staple padded the entire room, as you can see here, and then have gone through the entire room and started to pad the walls. The process of fabric walls with padding beneath goes a little something like this. First, you wanna start with what's called Dacron and there are different types of Dacron. In padding walls, you wanna use an upholstery grade Dacron and it comes in huge rolls, which is nice because you just roll it out on your wall and staple it with a staple gun. We use an air compressor staple gun. That is actually important because it it's easier to do. Our second step is you cut your fabric into the panels for the pattern in your room. And you again use the staple gun to apply the fabric over the Dacron. And you wanna do an inch, about an inch extra on both width and length when you're cutting that because when you staple into the Dacron, there's gonna be some give. And so you go about the room stapling your panels. And after that, you take your trim and you can use all sorts of different trim to complete and finish your look. In this 
instance in the nursery, we covered half inch trim. That's just basic trim you get at a Home Depot. And we covered that in a green sticky backed velvet. And so we applied that with itty bitty nails using a nail gun on top of the staples. And that is what created the panel effect that you see. And then we also covered all of the um, casework, moldings, things like that, because again, staples go there and that's why you get this lovely rich border around the rim. Checking back in later in the day. Progress is being made. Okay, who do we have here? Tell us your name. Brittany Allen. <laughs> hey Britt, how do we know each other? <laughs> Project Runway. That's right. He judged um. me to the death. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's a look at their room so far. So good. So good. Almost there. Almost there. All day long. It's been my house. Almost there. Wallpaper. Almost there. <laughs> it's 8 o'clock officially. I told my sister we'd be ready at 9.30. I don't think we're going to be ready at 9.30. But... If you look around the house, take a spin real quick. It's chaotic in here. But some things I've been working on today. Obviously, we have trash. Most important ingredient when you're redoing a house is wine. I made a fresh floral arrangement. I got some balloons ready for when she comes. Cupcakes ready for my brother-in-law because it's his birthday tomorrow. He goes, he goes tired from installing the whole room. This is it. We have an hour and a half left. I ordered these lamps, shades, from uh, Anthropology. These uh, are from the internet, $40. I wrapped wallpaper around them. Here is a great piece. Brittany Allen made the skirt for the bed, which matches the curtains under the cornice. Brittany made these curtains, and as you can see, with a hair straightener. I mean, you gotta make it work. Make it work. Make it work. She is hem taping the curtains. These are pack system from Ikea, which have been padded and covered in fabric, lined in wallpaper. Got this rug online for $219. Doing it on a budget. Right here, we're going to put these great photos that she got framed from Etsy. Got a picture light on discount that I'm going to put right here. And uh, this is probably my favorite thing in the room. This is the air vent, which has been covered in British Racing Green. It's going to go here. A velvet air vent. Oh my God. Like who doesn't need it, obviously. We bought some poofs on the internet, um, or shall I say our star decorator Aaron did. So I want you to know that Aaron came up with a concept for this room and she's also been in the grass all day long cutting things with Hugo, who, how long did it take you, Hugo, to make this cornice? One uh, hour. One hour, at least. One hour. Hugo is not only the guy who installs the room, but he's the guy with the vision. My favorite thing that Hugo did before, today, which was so cool. So my sister had this light in here. It never dimmed. Hugo switched these out. They were switches before, and now he's got this, and he put Ta-da. So yeah, Hugo's saved the day. And Hugo works with Aaron and they work in together as a interior design and they decorated the house that we are staying in in Austin during our visit. Hope she's gonna like it. I will see you for the reveal. It's, it feels like right before the show, like I'm stressed. I'm like very stressed. We're getting ready. I've got to find the 
and the Pampers. We're Chip and Joanna gazing the house now. We're, we're fluffy. Everything is nice. Okay. <laughs> when I think about a takeaway on this project, don't ever doubt that you can do what is right for a space as you need to do it and when you need to do it. It's just a matter of figuring it out and not giving up. Is there a real plan, Jay? Is there a real plan? And then the, I feel like the rug ties it in real? good. Yeah. Got a little color. She got you this little for like. After being home for all of last year through one of the most challenging years of my life, and I'm sure so many of our lives, I'm so happy that I could come home and spend time with my sister. One thing that I had a lot of time to reflect on during my time at home is how much I have always loved showing up for the people around me and how much of my time over the past few years has been going to building my brand and I haven't had so much time to do that. And I think just being able to come here and show up um, and which I think says to people around us that we see them and that we love them was the greatest thing. It's, it's not about how much money you spend, it's really just about the action of showing up. And I think right now we could all use someone showing up for us and being there for us and just doing one little thing, you know, however big or small, makes a big difference. And this is what I felt that I could uniquely give to my sister from my point of view during this time to let her know that I see her and I love her and that I'm thrilled for this very exciting time in her life and to meet my nephew. Yeah, that's Right there, matches it. Yeah. I'm gonna be in Texas for a little while longer, so remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more dispatches from Texas and more new content coming at you.